Yes, and can you imagine this was done in England to standing room only crowds, and there were people out in the streets, and uh, every every rank and file of society was there in attendance, all the way to the crown of England. Embattled England, Protestant England, who Rome tried to subjugate and bring back into its fold, who constantly resisted with the Bible in one hand and a gun in the other. Henry Grattan Guinness stood in front of the papacy in the midst of all that English history and never minced one syllable of one word. He told the biblical, historical, and prophetic truth to Protestants and Catholics alike, without fear, without equivocation, without mincing of words. And it was so moving that they demanded that it be reduced to print and spread abroad, that those who could not hear those lectures could read them for themselves and ponder them and research them and study them and pray about them. That's what this book is. It's a written form of those oral speeches. And it ought to be in every library, every classroom, every home, every institution of power in this country. It should be on every desk of every one of the justices on the Supreme Court. It should be mainstream media content. It should be repeated annually. There's no excuse for Protestant Reformation to be ignorant of the history of the papacy and the history of the Protestant Reformation and the correct interpretation of the prophets Paul, John, and most of all, Daniel. Too much is at stake to be ignorant of these words. Too much is at stake to be ignorant about who the Antichrist is. And that's what this book accomplishes. It sets forth the record in inarguable terms. Who is the Antichrist of the Bible? Why, it's the Antichrist of history, the papacy. And yet, you can walk down the street, mainstream, Main Street, USA, you pick the town, you pick the state, and you go along and you ask, are you a Christian? Why, yes, I'm a Christian. Do you know, can you tell me who is the Antichrist? No, we're not supposed to know. Well, I think it's Obama. I think it's a Muslim. Well, I think it's a Jew. But at any rate, no matter who it is, they'll all tell you he comes in the distant future. If, if, if my listeners can comprehend how horrifying a situation that I've just described to you then maybe you'll find the motivation to take this message everywhere you go. So many people in this world today don't seem to have a direction in their life. They feel like God's never used them. Well, now you have your chance. 